Hey everyone, my name is Dale. I am one half of the newly formed Lua Critic. The other half of the Lua Critic is Paul Vandenboom. Now he's uh, currently unavailable at the moment. So tonight with me, just to help me out, I've got my good friend uh, Cecil. He's just gonna chill out here and keep me company. Okay, basically. Uh, this is the first, uh, first uh, product reviews type video that, we've, uh, that we we're gonna do here. We really wanted to do this video in the field, but unfortunately it has been pouring rain here. Uh, we're at the end of a long weekend. I didn't go fishing once because of the rain. I think it's been raining now for about four and a half or five days straight. It's just crazy. It's not even looking like it's gonna let up. So haven't been fishing for about six days, a little on edge but I'll make it through. Okay, um, basically, what I've been playing with of late, that sounds really dirty, what I've been playing with of late is the new Shad Alive. This is it here. I don't know if you can see it, so I'm just gonna bring it up close just for, just for a second. Okay, the Shad Alive. Now, it's an, it's an Azumi lure. It's distributed here in Australia by a company called River to Sea. Um, now, this is something that they haven't been doing for too long, but basically this Azumi Shad Alive, as you can see, it's a bibless jointed swim bait. Um, now, they're available in three sizes. There's a 120 mil, there's a 105 mil, which is what this one is, and then there's a smaller one, a 50 mil. Now, they're all available in sinking and floating. They're all jointed, obviously. Um, the 120 and the, one, the 105 mil all have five joints and your smaller 50 mil has four joints. So they all have a really, really great snake swimming action through the water with those, with those joints that, uh, you know, that they have because they're jointed. Okay, so basically uh, what you can see, they all are, a, a, like I said, they're all a, a bibless uh, swim bait. Now they all have the nose toy, toe point and two hook points, okay? Now the, the 105 and the 120 come standard with a treble on the front and a double on the rear. Your small 50 mil one comes standard with two trebles. All right, basically, pro, now the pros and cons of this lure. The number one thing that this lure has going for it is its swimming action. It really does look amazing in the water. Now, hopefully you should be uh, seeing right now a bit of that swimming action. Now, there's got, it's got two main swimming actions that, uh, that really make this thing stand out. It's, it's slow roll action, which is just a, a, nice, a nice slow roll, no twitches of the rod tip at all, and it just snakes through the water, just like a fish swimming along. It really does look incredible when it's, uh, when it's doing that. But its second one it's, is the one I really like. It's what I would refer to as a dying flutter action. Now, if you just give your rod tip little jerks, little jerky sort of twitches, and that lure will just sit there and then when you give it a twitch, it'll just, it'll roll and flip in the water. Basically, it just looks like a dying bait fish, a bait fish that's, uh, that's just been boofed by a predator and it's on its last legs and it's just twitching around and rolling. Really amazing looking action. Um, I'd, I'd call it a dying flutter action and it, it really looks like a dying bait fish. It's brilliant. Um, okay, another pro of this lure is its weight. It's weight for its size. It is very heavy and it's nice and easy to cast. Uh, when I did some water tests with this, I was throwing it off heavy bait cast tackle, that uh, the sort of gear that I personally would normally use for big cod and chasing barra. And it cast it without a problem because it's, it's got a lot of weight there. It's nice and easy to cast. Um, so that's a real good thing about this lure, but it's a nice evenly distributed weight too. It's, it's not, you know, all, all front heavy or rear heavy or something like that. Okay, um, now a couple of cons of this lure. Now there, there's not a couple of things that I really don't like about this lure. The number one thing is straight out of the box is the hardware is fairly light. It does come with light standard hardware on it. Um, now, basically, for things like your cod and your barra here in Australia, which are the primary sort of things that we're gonna be throwing this style of bait for, uh, that hardware is a little bit light. Um, but the good thing about it is you can upgrade that hardware and it doesn't affect the lure too much. Uh, the swimming action doesn't change whatsoever. The, the only thing that changes when you upgrade that hardware, by going to heavier hardware, you change sink rates and that sort of thing. The floating one, if you go super heavy in the hardware, you can make it sink. Obviously you're sinking one, all you're gonna do is make it sink faster. So it's not a real big problem there. The swimming action doesn't change, so that's a big bonus for it. Um, the only other con now, I would say this about any jointed lure on the market, whether it be the absolute cheapest one you can buy or the most expensive one, 
any joint in a lure is going to be a weak point. Okay, some are better than others, obviously. Um, so basically, joins are something that you need to keep an eye on. The good thing about this one, even though it has a lot of joins, every single one of those joints is held together in two places. And there are a lot of joint, jointed lures on the market now that just use single single points that, that hold the joints together. Every single one of these joint, it, it, sections is joined in two places. Even the tail, the tail joint, which doesn't have any hooks on it, so you're not going to be having any fish pressure on there. It's still held with two in two places, so that's a big bonus. I think you'd be doing pretty well to have a fish really do some damage to this lure. But in the coming weeks, I will be doing some serious tests on this thing. I do intend to break it. I'm going to hook it up to some scales and I'm going to put pressure on it until it busts. I'm going to see what sort of pressure it takes to break this lure on different angles. So keep an eye out for that video because that'll be very interesting. I'm keen to uh, keen to do it. I just put it off because you know I. I don't like buying stuff and just breaking it for the fun of it. Uh, so, but we will do that soon. I just, I'm gonna go and catch some more fish, catch some more fish on it soon before I go and break it. Okay, in the future, it's the, it's the start of October at the moment. Now, at the end of this month, the end of October, myself and Paul Vanderboom, we will be traveling down to Victoria. We're gonna be doing some brimming in the Gippsland Lakes down there. And uh, on the way back, we're gonna be stopping at Glenbourne and we're going to be chasing some bass maybe some other fish that are in Glenbourne, we're gonna be there for the bass, but whatever happens, happens. Um, you know, what goes on tour stays on tour. Uh, so basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna try and get a little bit of a bundle of new product to take with us, uh, and we're gonna do some fishing tests. We'll try and get a bit of video along the way and see what, uh, see what we can find. Uh, so if you guys have any ideas, any, any new product on the market that you want us to maybe have a bit of a try out, Within reason, we're not millionaires, we can't afford to go buying every single bit of new tackle on the market, but we will try and get a bit of a bundle of uh, new product together over this month. We'll take it down there, we'll have a good fish with it, we'll try and get some video and some reviews happening. Uh, so any ideas, comments, just leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you want us to have a look at. We'll see what we can do. If we, if we can get our hands on it, uh, we'll, uh, we'll try and give it a good test out for you and get some video up in the future. Um, I know Paul Vanderboom has been testing out a Jackal Aragon Junior at the moment. I'm pretty sure it's the Junior he's been testing. Um, he's really wrapped in that lure and he's going to really put it through its paces down at, uh, down at Glenbourne and we'll try and get some good video footage of it doing its thing down there. So that's going to be one. Azumi Shadow Live is going to get thrown down there, um, and there's probably going to be dozens of other lures uh, alone that we're going to be testing. We might test some other tackle while we're there, but lures mainly. There's a couple on the on the on the drawing board, and there's heaps more that we plan to take. But if you guys have some ideas, comment. Let us know what you want us to take down there and give a test. And in the coming weeks, we'll have some videos rolling for you. Okay, thanks heaps for watching. Keep tuned.